Do you want to create anchor links, also known as jump links in the Gutenberg editor that take your website visitors to a specific spot on the same page that the link is clicked on? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. This page that you see here is created with WordPress Gutenberg and we are going to learn today how to create jump links or anchor links which means we're going to click on one of these three words. We're going to link all of them in this video and it's going to take us down to a specific section on the page, a specific section that we determine. To make that happen, we go to edit page, we scroll down and find our links and they are storytelling, skills and journey. Currently it's just a list, they're not actual links yet. And if I scroll down farther, we need to first add something to our page. And that is for the storytelling paragraph. This one right here is where I want to add the jump link to come to here for the storytelling word in the table of contents. And almost every block in Gutenberg has an advanced section. In that section, you can add an HTML anchor. I'm going to add the word storytelling just to stay organized because we're going to need that word again later so it makes sense to use storytelling for the storytelling link in my mind anyway this section here let's call it skills and then the journey one is near the end portfolio is a journey let's call that journey now we go back to the top go to our links here highlight the whole word or the whole piece of text that you want your link to be. It doesn't have to be the full sentence or anything. This could be a regular link that you add to one word, two words, a whole sentence, what have you. Click on the link icon and add in the pound character or hashtag and type in the label that we added earlier. Not story link, storytelling that we added to the storytelling section earlier. Done. For the skills one, highlight that. Hashtag skills. Done for the journey, hashtag journey, and done. Save that. Now when we go out and view the page, we'll be able to click on these links and it'll take us to those sections. So if I click the storytelling link, it takes us to that paragraph, which was storytelling. Skills takes us to that heading, which was skills. Journey takes us to journey. And this is the bottom of the page. You saw the other two were, were taken right to the top of the browser when you clicked on them. This one can't because the page can't go any further. And so it just ends up being in the middle in this case. And that's just what happens when what you're linking to is near the bottom of the page. If you want to try this method for linking to a different page instead of the same one, then check out this video right up here. I'll show you how to do it. Right there. Have a look. Super easy. Click on that.